young musicians are warming up and getting ready to compete for the title of Grand National Champion. Our Nico Panisi is live at Lucas Oil Stadium with a look at that. Nico, a lot of these kids wake up at the crack of dawn to prepare for some of those early performances. Of course, Caitlin, they got to start warming up and get ready for that performance. It's quite the spectacle. You know, we were here just last month for the Grand Regionals, but this is the Grand National Championship. So it's call it pulling in people from across 20 states, places as far away as Wyoming, Washington, uh, Florida. And of course, we'll have people right here from the Hoosier State. So we're joined this morning with uh, James Stevens with Music for All. Now, James, what's the difference between Grand Nationals and Grand Regionals? I'm so glad you asked a lot of things. It's huge. This is actually the biggest, the largest Grand Nationals we've ever had here in uh, Indianapolis and Bands of America. 113, as you mentioned. 20 states represented. We suspect or estimate 15,000 students or more. Okay, that sounds like it's going to be quite the weekend of performances. I'm aware y'all already started on Thursday, day packed full of performances. What's in store for the rest of the weekend? Yes, uh, preliminary uh, performances started yesterday, as you mentioned, and will continue through today. We start at 7 a.m., we go through like 8.45, uh, and then we'll have our prelims awards, and there will be about 30 bands that move on to semifinals tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow morning and afternoon, and 12 that will go on to the finals Saturday night. And I'm aware that in addition to the performances, there's also an opportunity for people who are interested in a future music education. Talk to me about that. Yes, we have our Teach Music Experience tomorrow. For it is, it is free and open to anyone who is a college music education major. We have, uh, I believe it's like, you know, uh, 50 or 60 different uh, universities and, and colleges going to be here. 100 plus kids uh, that are studying to be music educators going to have a behind the scenes tour, visit with some of the master educators and get to watch our semifinals for free. Wonderful. How does an experience like this enrich a student's life? The students that are performing here, again, I am a product of Bands of America, so I have fond memories of coming out here, performing on the BOA stage. So many of my peers, my, my high school friends, if you will, uh, that are not in music or, or teaching, for that matter, still point to band and this activity as something that helped you know, kind of create the same tenacity and skill sets that has uh, brought so much success to their careers. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining us this morning, James. You can hear they're getting themselves ready. It's going to be a busy weekend here at Lucas Oil. This wraps up Bands of America's uh, 30 uh, different events that they've had this year. So they'll be wrapping up on Saturday with the final performance Saturday evening. Reporting live in Indianapolis this morning, Nico Panisi, WRTV.